Hello, Paul Bellow here at the Lit RPG Adventures Workshop, and I have been uh, busy over the weekend. I have done more to quests, uh, mimic cities, NPCs, governments, and taverns. I kind of want to uh, focus in on this for now. Go ahead and do a random one. Uh, we also have a multi-step generator, and what that does is not 100% uh, finished yet, uh, but it generates the basic tavern, and then you can add separate patrons, owner, and uh, rumors. And we'll take a look at that. A little later, perhaps. Um, and the speed on these is not gr the greatest. But we have Iron Hearts Tavern. Um, you have a quick uh, menu on the fly for your players. Uh, a little more details about it how much the rooms cost, what you can find nearby, uh, description, uh, usually three or four patrons, and usually a few uh, rumors. So yeah, um, you can also do a uh, square image that costs less because it costs less to uh, produce it. These are eight cents to uh, generate it. Um, the cost on that will likely go down as uh, the technology improves. Um, Dolly 2 was originally under two cents an image, so um, even for the large size. The Rusty Sword. The Rust Sword. So not perfect. And you can see uh, we didn't get our menu this time, uh, but we did get our rumors and whatnot. So the menu and everything's not 100% yet. It's kind of tricky the way I'm doing it, but when it does work, it works really well. <laughs> And when it doesn't work, it just doesn't include that stuff. So, I guess I could show you. Go there real quick in a second. And there's so much text. And I'm not super happy with that square image. But we have our menu items and rooms again. So let's go to the multi-step, which is not, uh, doesn't have the images and other stuff added to it yet. However, it gives you the, uh, the main inn, and then we can add a bartender. Uh, if we don't like him, we can delete him and do another one. Uh, we can do patrons. And what I'll probably do is add a uh, image to this. This is the next one uh, on my list to uh, update. And then you can generate as many rumors and what it does is you can see Tiberius is one of the patrons so the rumor is about Tiberius pretty pretty cool uh, you can see we already have a library of ones that are already uh, already generated uh, but yeah I'm going to be adding the images and everything to that but for now, I just wanted to show you the uh, 
new images and you can also uh, input a little bit of text as before. And we'll do uh, one more real quick here. Pretty excited though. I'm going to need to uh, fine tune the menu and everything it looks like. But we will uh, see what we get here in a second. Uh, if you want to try these, uh, they're available now at litrpgadventures.com. Rusty Anvil. And all of our information there. Description, patrons, rumors, all in one go. Um, eventually I want to do more um, like that multi-step where uh, you generate a little bit of it and then you can add pieces and parts to it. Uh, I really like the watercolor so I'm going to stick with that for now. But I have uh, updated a lot of the prompts for the images to get them a little better. It's still hit or miss sometimes, especially with the uh, sideways images for some reason on some of the portraits. Uh, this is the uh, updates to the quests. Um, you can now do the image, description, and five acts. Uh, reward and rumors and notes. So moving quickly along, we also have Mimics now. Do a neutral middle age Margaret Weiss mimic. Um, shape of a teapot. Hit a button. And in just a few seconds, we should get our Mimic. I kind of like this generator too. Um, the art spot on. Really easy to uh, decide what kind of Mimic you want, especially with uh, being able to add the uh, te text suggestion now. Mimic Mia. <laughs> Oh boy, um, yeah, we got stats here, uh, abilities, a spout attack, <laughs> uh, personality, and combat. So yeah, uh, mimics are also done. I might do a uh, longer video on those eventually let's do a hamlet for our city town generator that is also now live and hopefully the uh, speed of all these will uh, Increase, but unlike ChatGPT or some of the free tools where you just uh, type in what you want and then you gotta change it, and change it, and change it until you get what you want. Here you press a button, let it do the work, and we get Bane's Hollow, a hamlet. That's a big hamlet. <laughs> Let's uh, do ancient elven ruins and large city but yeah you get the uh, description and history um, might end up adding some more uh, all of these are always a work in progress so if you have any feedback uh, find me on discord twitter or facebook and let me know that's not good. I wonder what happened. 
So as you can see, still in uh, beta, <laughs> but improving all the time. And let's see what we get here. We'll just do one more of these. Abandoned ruins, like it, like it. And there you go. Um, we also have NPCs. Uh, we'll do all random here. Click a button. And what I did is I set up uh, two different NPC generators. One is for what I call adventurers. And uh, these are like your fighters and your wizards. <coughs> and your robes and your whatnot. Um, and then the second uh, NPC generator is uh, commoners. So more like your bakers, your uh, blacksmith and whatnot. So we look here, we get a epic quality image. Um, we get her stats, uh, abilities, equipment, Appearance, interaction, background, combat, and equipment. All for one low price and one low click. Let us go to... Uh, I'll show you what I mean by these. Some of these are pretty funny. Uh, I'll make this one a hemp farmer. <laughs> Because you know in MURPS, Middle Earth Role Playing System, hemp farmers are uh, where it's at. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, NPC Commoner Generator. Now online, um, I started talking about uh, taverns and inns, and here we are at... Uh, a plantling hemp farmer. Love it. Love it. He's a plant and he plants. <laughs> uh, we don't have stats on these guys, uh, but we do have uh, all the text about them and the image and so on and so forth. Uh, moving along, uh, we also have uh, governments. We have different settings like prehistoric, space opera, arctic wilderness, uh, we'll do high magic, and click of a button, and we should get a pretty decent government for our tabletop campaign. And like I said, hopefully uh, we will be making these faster, uh, but you get so much included now. The Vosic Imperium. Uh, we have a description. Oh, what's this? more details uh, leadership political economic social military cultural legal education public perception influential groups key historical events so on and so forth uh, so that is the government generator we will go into that more in a future video but let us go do another tavern real quick to close it close this out and I think I heard my phone ringing in the background so I have to go answer that real quick but if you want to uh, try any of these uh, tabletop RPG generators powered by OpenAI stop on by litrpgadventures.com and you can make the rusty axe not shabby 
And we have the menu, ambiance, local lore, safety. Uh, kind of expensive on the rooms. <laughs> But yeah, you get uh, everything you need and could want for your tavern in just one click. So check it out. I am Paul Bello. I am heading back into the workshop to improve these tools even more. Um, quick thank you for all the support. Um, over the weekend, we had quite a few people sign up to Lit RPG Adventures and uh, that makes me happy because I can uh, buy more oatmeal and keep the website running. So if you're interested in any kind of tabletop RPG tools, um, stop by Lit RPG Adventures today and try one of our three dozen advanced RPG generators. Um, that's all I got. Uh, please like, comment, and share. and. Uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for your time. Bye.